So it's been a sweet minute since I've actually uploaded anything on this channel and today we're back with quite a decent game. So today we're going to be taking a look at a game that in my opinion does in fact rival Doom. I mean, kind of. The game itself actually is a very cool concept and is very similar to Doom in the fact that you would go and try and slay certain demons. However, it does have one significant specific twist. The game itself uses music in order to provide a damage multiplier which allows you to progress and kill bosses quicker as long as you shoot your gun and reload your gun and move around the map in accordance with whatever music is playing. I just want to clarify this video is in no way a dig at any of the Doom games. I actually quite enjoyed Doom Eternal and also the Doom before that. I cannot really remember its name. I'm not an avid player of the game franchise. However, I have played them and do enjoy that style of games. My point is that this game follows a very similar concept to Doom but adds an added twist, which in my opinion adds to the enjoyment whilst playing the game. The game itself seems to be at a pretty fair price point, £25 I believe the game cost me, and for a highly reviewed game as overwhelmingly positive on the Steam marketplace, especially the way in which the game performs and how enjoyable the game actually is, I do feel this is more than a fair price for what they're asking. So I did do some avid research into the price of the game, i.e. type the game into Google and see if I could get it cheaper anywhere else. The best price actually does seem to be on the Steam store. I mean, the other stores that actually sell games are actually offering it a much more expensive price and also Steam seem to offer and again this isn't me promising that Steam offer this because I am not an employee of Steam however they do tend to offer a refund policy after around less than two hours of the game or I think two weeks it tends to be and you can actually refund the game or you can at least request a refund of the game if you don't enjoy your experience whilst playing it. I mean, the game itself is quite self-explanatory and just looking at the imagery and a few clips of the game will really give you an idea as to what the game is like while you're playing it. So really, if you're going to buy this game, you'd already kind of have an idea as to what you're buying. So the refund is not really that high priority well that's for me personally the game itself is actually quite new on the steam store it only released on the 15th of september and it's already got an update which actually already improves the game quite significantly so it's enabled mods within the game and in this mod you can actually add custom music to be able to shoot your gun to so you can add your custom tracks to the game in order to be able to listen to them as you're kind of killing different bosses it's important to note that there are limitations with the music that you can apply with the mod that I'm talking about. However, it is outlined within the home page. It's actually connected to the store page of the game. So if you purchase it on Steam, scroll down a little bit, there's a full modding tutorial on exactly how you do it and exactly which songs are acceptable to play within the game. This to me is incredibly positive to show that the game developers are actually listening to the members of the community because I would imagine this was quite a highly requested item to be able to be added to the game. I don't know this is a fact, but I would assume through user's feedback this is what is wanted to be added, therefore they added a functionality as to where this could be possible. So the actual story behind the game is a player called Unknown actually had their voice taken away from them and was trapped within hell and then they were released within hell to kind of destroy lots of demons and then I think they just have to make their way through each different level of demon until all of them are dead. Along the way, a variety of different weapons are unlocked, and as I said earlier, if you hit the weapons to the beat, they do significantly more damage. This is indicated by the multiplier at the top of the screen. I believe it goes all the way up to 16. At 16 times, you actually do hear the character start to sing or vocals within the music that is actually playing at that current moment in time, just to indicate that you're on the highest level of multiplier that the game has to offer at this current moment in time. At the end of each hell, in a sense, I think each area and chapter of the game is split up into a different hell, there is a boss battle to complete. Once completed the boss battle, you've then successfully completed that section of the game. I think the replayability is there. Obviously, if you've not modded in it at all, I think it would get repetitive and slightly boring at the time. However, I don't think the game's necessarily built around story. I think the repetitiveness of certain aspects of the game is absolutely fine in this case because it's satisfying gameplay. You shoot to the music. It, different things might happen at different times depending on what's happening in that specific playthrough of that exact same thing. So, for example, you could go through the exact same hell five or six 
six times and it could play completely differently depending on how you're hitting the beats and specifically as to what song is playing because with the modded ability being able to add your own song I really feel this kind of extends that bit of the game. So overall then would I recommend that you buy this game? Now the game itself is priced at a pretty fair price point in my opinion in terms of what the game has to offer. If you enjoy Doom style games and you enjoy that kind of dungeon looting, shooting, cool takedown sort of game, yeah, one of those. If you enjoy that sort of stuff, then yeah, this game is definitely for you. And I'd say for the price point in which it's offered at, I would definitely say that the game is worth it. For me personally, I have enjoyed this game and I'm glad that I've purchased it. Anyways guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Comment down below whether or not you think you would enjoy this style of game. And I'm just going to leave you with me killing this boss. Oh,